Majaki, um, and I am the founder and the CEO and the director of programs of Star Women. I'm three in one, very long. <laughs> yes, but forget about that long title and just um, see me as your very humble host for Stars Lounge. I'm always happy and you know, I'm always excited to come into your homes, especially when I have other women joining me to have meaningful conversations and that's help you um, develop as a person and even in terms of your career. So as you know, Stars Lounge is your preferred professional and personal development program. And every Thursday, 7 p.m., we come your way with a conversation around a theme or a topic that will eventually go a long way to enhance your personal and professional development. This evening, we will be talking about birthing your dream project. But before um, we go any further into this evening's conversation, I just want you to, as we always do, pick up your phone and share to invite your family and your friends. Um, go to the Star Women Facebook page or wherever you're watching from. Tell everybody that we are live. So I am sharing on my Facebook page. Do that as well. Elizabeth, you also do that. And um, yeah, let's just tell the world that we are live. So they should join us. So I just shared on my Facebook and I'm going to also share on my WhatsApp because I have a lot of family and friends who always see my posts from WhatsApp um, and probably not on Facebook at the time. So when you do that, you're able to also get people from, so share on any other social media platform that you're on, on Twitter, on Instagram, please feel free and share. So we are live. join us. Awesome. So I just shared. And so if you are joining us this evening, I just want to hear from you who is watching, who is with us and um, tell us where you're joining from. So as you know, I am joining from Accra, Ghana, where it's just about four or five minutes past 7 p.m. Um, GMT and my host, my guest for today is also joining us from um, Accra. So you'll get to meet her very soon. But as we go on, I just want to hear from you who is online, who has joined us, and where are you joining us from? I'd love to hear from you. Um, yes. So whilst we. <laughs> this evening, um, whilst we have more people join us. I just wanted to take the opportunity to tell you more about our Style Masterclass that's coming up at the end of this month. March is here. That's month for women. I'll be talking about that in a GV. But um, Style Masterclass coming on on Friday, the 26th of March. It's a one day intensive class that you're going to learn to make a variety of pies. I told you the other time that if it had not been for one of these master classes, I wouldn't have known that there were different types of pies. Apparently, what we always call meat pie here is only one type, which is the turnover. So come to that class and learn. Come and learn and add to your skills, your cooking skills. Come and learn and add to your business. You can learn that and, and add that as a product to your business. So 26th of March, intensive morning till evening um, class, learn a variety, how to make a variety of pies, all 100 Ghana cities. You, you have to register if you want to be part of it. So please um, be sure to click on the link that will be shared in the comment section. Okay, have thoughts for the class filling up. We want to be sure that you reserve your spot. So please click on the link, submit your registration form. Somebody from Star Women will reach out to you and ask you for further details and eventually help you with the process to pay. And so that is it for Star Masterclass. And as you know, March is a very exciting month for both Ghanaians and women. 
because you know that very soon, in fact, on, on Saturday, the 6th of March, we will be celebrating our Independence Day as a country here in Ghana. We will also be celebrating the International Women's Day on 8th of March, which will be on Monday. And so because we have two major celebrations coming up, we as Star Women are making sure that we are not left out in the celebration. So as part of International Women's Day for this year, we are taking the opportunity to launch our STAR mentoring program. How exciting. So you know that we already have girls on the STAR Alternative Access Program. And a major component of this program is that um, the young ladies who are receiving training and coaching will be matched to mentors and they will be able to receive um, mentoring support from 10 amazing women. Yes, 10 amazing women. And so on Saturday, we will be launching our, our, our mentors program. The mentors will join us and we will be celebration of the International Women's Day. So without saying more about Star Women, I would like us to introduce our guest for today. She's a very dear friend of mine. Actually, she has become a sister now. So sister turned friend, no, friend turned sister now. And I'm very happy that today she's joining me. Um, Elizabeth is somebody who has been an inspiration for the last, I would say, four to five years that I've known her. I've seen her go through, uh, 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 or, or go through many stories. She's up with something that is very impactful. And so there was no way we could have gone past it to any other person when we wanted to speak to Bethan, your dream project. Because she's one person that I have seen do it, but not just talk about it. She has been there and done that. And so today she'll be sharing a lot about her experiences in dreaming, in starting, in growing and in sustaining whilst making impact and profit. Elizabeth, you're welcome this evening to Stars Lounge. You want to unmute yourself. Hi, Elizabeth. You want to unmute yourself? Sorry about that. Yes. I just got a little bit nervous because my internet was going in and out. I was like, not again. Not Something's not about to happen again uh, two weeks in a row. So. Um, I hope that nothing happens and we stay connected. Yes, so we can hear you loud and clear. Okay. And I think the internet is a lot better now. So okay, it's good. good now. Good. Perfect. So I just wanted you to start by telling us a bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I don't really know where to start. Like I was saying to you, I feel like you know me just as well as anybody else in my life. But for those people who don't know me well enough <laughs> as you do, um, I'm Elizabeth Ekenyako Patterson. In different contexts, I use my middle name. In, but since we're on this program, let, let me mention my middle name. Elizabeth Ekenyako Patterson. Um, I'm better known for being the founder and executive director of the Girls Education Initiative of Ghana, GEIG, a nonprofit organization that I founded seven years ago with a mission to provide academic and financial support for girls and persons with special needs or disabilities. Um, but recently I've been transitioning and trying to take a little bit of a step back from GIG, and I founded my own consultancy called EAMP Consults which I've been working on for about a year and a half now, nearly two years. And when we were in Yali, I'm sure I may have discussed it with you. And it's good to see that I'm actually doing it. Because it's good. I mean, it's nice to talk, but also it's good to just do it. Yeah. Right. I love that. I love that. I love the saying, it's nice to talk but it's also good to do it. And I would like to say a big congratulations to you um, for making that bold step to start the consultancy um, service that you're doing. I know that we did talk about it when you were dreaming and visioning it, but I'm just proud of you that you took the step to start it. And it's been over a year already working on it. So congratulations, well done for that. I hope that- Thank you. Especially women and young girls are going to draw inspiration from mm -hmm. that story 
or even from that action of dreaming it and starting it to be able to move on with whatever vision and dreams that they also have. But talking about dreams and vision, let's talk about it. Tell me, um, you know, it's very common to speak to people like how we were, we were talking when we were yali, and mm-hmm. you had the idea of starting the EANP consult. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people will speak to you with ideas, mm-hmm. with dreams, with visions. They want to do something. They are passionate about something. They are being driven. But a lot of times, it's really sad that you just see people stuck at the idea level without moving on. And that is one reason that pushed me for us to have this conversation Mm -hmm. so that we will serve more as, you know, kind of positive energy or momentum for anybody who is at that level, who is at that stage. Okay. Yes, to move to the next level of action. Mm-hmm. So what will you say? Can you share one time um, that you had an idea and how you moved it and what are some of the lessons or some of the things that you can share with women to say, if you have an idea, go this way or go from this. This is my recommendation. Okay. This is my what worked for me and my work for someone too. So when you were introducing yourself, right, I almost wanted to interrupt and be like, oh, Jackie, you're a woman of like a lot of hats. You're wearing a lot of hats. I know. I, do, I know what you do in your everyday life. You work at Alpha Beta. You yeah. start for a bunch of things, right? And yeah. all of that, I commend you. And so I think for me, the biggest achievements I've had starting anything is the Girls Education Initiative of Ghana. Um, and I'll use that as an example. It started as a research project for me when I was in grad school at NYU. And before I forget, I also wanted to mention that I'm the 2015 Blizzcon brand ambassador in Ghana. And so, hence the outfit <laughs> anyway. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, GIG started as a research project for me, like, and of course called strate- strategic planning. And I asked my professor if I could use this organization that I, I felt like I had a calling to found and Mm -hmm. just bring it to life as a project and she gave me the go ahead Um, she gave me pointers I came to Ghana in think to I think it was 2006 2007 to kind of um, study the environment a little bit and so as I'm talking I'll be advising a little bit on how we can get our ideas off from just being ideas and up and running right like so I had the idea I consulted with someone who is an expert in the field and she somewhat became a mentor for me as I was doing it. And granted, I was doing it for a class um, assignment. I, I knew that the end goal for me was to be able to be supporting these students or female students here in Ghana. And I think for me, whenever I think about birthing ideas, right? Like, that's just not a punch word, but birthing ideas and making sure it goes from incubation to like mature maturity. Um, it's just trying to figure out what the end goal would look like for you. And for me, if you asked me back in 2011 when I was in grad school, what GIG, the end goal for me, what the end picture of GIG would be like for me, I would always say that if we we're able to transition one girl from class six to university, I would have felt like I was successful. And so, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, one girl, m- many, many girls have gone through GIG and they're in university now, but I felt like one girl making her way all the way from class six to university because some organization had, was able to lead them along the way was right. a success for me. But the big picture is like, when you have this idea, always think about what the end goal would look like for you. And mm-hmm. for me, I think about that and I try to work backwards. And it's like, I think the official term is backwards planning, right? So right. I like to be a visionary and I like to see how things will be like if nothing got in my way. And clearly we know that the world doesn't happen that way. We don't function in silos. Things are, oh, are bound I to happen, think- right? Hi, Elizabeth, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but you're frozen. Okay. So I'll just go ahead. I think we're having a long in the internet. Okay. I, I'll just continue to speak if that's okay. 
because you're frozen, but my, my connection is working. So for me, it's yeah. 